Hello, Mastery Algebra 1. This is Mr. White. This is Lesson 10-3, Operations with Radical Expressions. What we're going to do is we're going to use these operations with radical expressions to help us understand and then use and use our properties to solve radical expressions also. So the essential understanding is we can use the distributive property or we can use our box method to simplify sums or differences of radical expressions by combining like radicals, kind of like variables. Like radicals, such as 3 radical 5 and 7 radical 5, they have the same what's called radicand. Unlike radicals, such as 4 radical 3 and negative 2 radical 2, have different radicands. So problem one, we're going to combine like radicals using pluses and minuses. So what is the simplified form of each expression? We're going to take our 6 radical 11 and add it to our 9 radical 11. What we want to do is, if you notice, both have a radical 11. So we can kind of factor out, or kind of like the distributive property, we can take and we're going to combine the numbers in front of the radicals, but keep the radicand. So like a variable, if this were 6x plus 9x, we're going to add the coefficients and get 15, and then just keep that variable. Well, the same goes with radicals. We're going to add the coefficient 6 plus 9, but we're going to keep the radicand. So 6 plus 9 gives us 15 radical 11. Okay. Subtraction works the same way. So if we have radical 3 minus 5 radical 3, the, one of the first things that you're going to want to notice is we're going to change this radical 3 to just 1 radical 3 and then we're minusing 5 radical 3. So if we take those the radicand out or factor out we're going to get 1 minus 5 keep those in parentheses and then we still have times radical 3. Okay. 1 minus 5 gives us negative 4 and then we keep the radical sign on so negative 4 radical 3. So again we're going to add the the numbers in front of the radicand and then keep the radicand itself. Problem two. We're going to simplify to combine like radicals. So notice we have 5 radical 3 minus radical 12. Because these two radicands are not the same, okay, we cannot combine the two numbers in front. Or we can't combine the radicals. But if we try and simplify, maybe they have something in common, and then we can look at that. So 5 radical 3 there's nothing we can do with that, so we leave it as 5 radical 3. But the 12, we know, hopefully, that it's 4 times 3, or radical 4 times radical 3. Well, the square root of 4 is 2, so radical 12 simplifies to 2 radical 3. Okay? Now that both have a radical 3 in it, if we take those and look at the numbers in front, 5 minus 2, and then put the radical on the end, or radicand on the end, then 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. So our answer is 3 radical 3. More with problem 3. What if we multiply now instead of adding and subtract? Well, we can think of this as the distributive property. Okay? When we had A and then B and C, we distributed or multiplied A times B and then also A times C. So we got AB plus AC. Well, the same can be true with radicals. We're going to take the 10. So we're going to take radical 10, and we're going to multiply or distribute it through. We're going to get radical 10 times radical 6, and then we're going to add that to 3 times radical 10. Okay, notice, numbers have radicals, and they have the same index 2, or taking the square root of 10 and the square root of 6, we can really write this as the square root of 60. Okay? Plus, and then on the other side, we have radical 10, but the 3 is outside of a radical, or it doesn't include a radical. So we have to put the 3 in front and keep that as 3 radical 10. Okay? So then we ask ourselves, can we simplify the square root of 60? Hopefully you're thinking of a number that's the biggest perfect square that goes in here, which is square root of 4 times the square root of 15. Well, the square root of 4 is 2, so we have 2 radical 15 plus 3 radical 10. And there isn't anything else we can simplify on each term, so our answer is 2 radical 15 plus 3 radical 10. On B, a little tricky. 
What if we have a binomial times a binomial? Well, if you remember from chapter 8, we made boxes. So if we have a binomial times a binomial, we're going to need four boxes. On one side, we have this radical 6, and then we have a minus 2 radical 3. And on the other side, we have, let's go down, we have radical 6, but we have a plus, positive radical 3. So now when we combine, if we do this first one and combine this first square, radical 6 times radical 6 is the square root of 36. Well, we have two radicals, so the square root of 36 is 6. So that little box or area is 6. Okay. To the right, we're going to take radical 6 times negative 2 radical 3. Because the index is the same, we can combine the 6 and the 3. So 6 times 3 is 18. So this is 2 radical 18. The tricky part is that we can simplify 18. So the square root of 18 is really equal to the square root of 9 times the square root of 2, which is therefore 3 radical 2. So this answer is really 3 radical 2 times that negative 2 in front. Okay? And when we multiply numbers without radicals, you, you just multiply, the, we're going to multiply the negative 2 times the 3. So this answer is really negative 6 times 2. Because we already had a 2 in front, we bring out a 3 by the square root of 9, so we have to multiply that 3 times any number that's on the outside. Okay. If we work down, we're going to take negative 2 radical 3 times a radical 3. Radical 3 times radical 3 is negative 2 times the square root of 9. Well, the square root of 9 is 3, so 3 times negative 2 is negative, negative 6. And the last part, we're going to take square root of 3 times the square root of 6, which is the square root of 18. We just got done doing the square root of 18, which was 3 radical 2. So we have 3 radical 2. Okay. Now we have to put all these together. So we take this area and put it together. We have a 6 minus 6 radical 2 plus 3 radical 2 minus 6. Okay. And then we have to look at our terms and see, is there anything else that's like term? Well, we have a 6 over here and a 6 here. So we have 6 minus 6 minus three, 6 radical 2 plus 3 radical 2. 6 minus 6 is 0, and then negative 6 plus 3 with a radical 2 on the end. So our answer is negative 3 radical 2. All right, what I want you to do, I'm going to have you hit pause in a second. Okay, You're going to do radical 11 minus 2 squared. Let me steer you in the right direction. Okay, We have two of these. So it's radical 11 minus 2 times radical 11 minus 2. Okay, again, we have that binomial, so draw your boxes, place the numbers in the right place, multiply, check your answers in a couple minutes. Go ahead, hit pause, go. All right, welcome back. Hopefully by multiplying the binomial times the binomial, you end up, and simplifying, you end up getting 15 minus 4 radical 11. All right, next page. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to practice now 10-3 operations with radical expressions. You're going to hit pause. You're going to do the work. Make sure you be careful. Combine like terms. Combine radicals. Make sure you multiply correctly. Simplify if possible. And check back with your answers in a few minutes. Go. All right, welcome back. Uh, carefully check over your answers. Hopefully you can find your mistakes. If you still have questions, be sure to check with, these, check with us as soon as possible. And remember, do your best, forget the rest. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and night. Bye-bye.